Dear students, welcome to our lesson today, Our World, Part 2, Module 8. Learning objectives. Today we will learn to identify the rule of F close and use the rule of F close in speaking and writing. Now I want you to open your student book page 95 and your workbook page 82. Let's get started. Let's have a look at the grammar books. Look. Okay, let's read the grammar books together. If we pollute the sea, we won't have any clean beaches. You won't be late for school if you get up early. Okay, have a look at the words in red. Excellent. The first, F. Yes. Excellent. It's conditional. And the conditional, yes, close is simple present here. We pollute the sea. The verb, simple present, infinitive. We won't have any clean beaches. Won't is excellent. The negative form of well. Good. Now we can go back to student book page 134 here. In page 134, we have another explanation for conditional sentences type 1. Look, the F close is formed with F plus present simple. And the main close is future, will. Okay, remember these students, the, neg the negative form does not affect the tense. So I can have present simple negative and I can have the future simple negative. For example, will will be like want, like the first sentence, want, have. Okay, let's read the examples below. If we pollute the sea, we won't have any clean beaches. The F close and the main close can change places without affecting the meaning of the sentence. Wildlife will disappear if people destroy forests. Good. Now let's study the chart below. Here we have the F conditional and the main close. So we have the F close and the main close. The F is followed with simple present then followed by another close with simple future or vice versa for example the same example if we pollute the sea we won't have any clean beaches okay you won't be late for school if you get up early have a look here pollute is simple present and won't have a simple future excellent now Go back to student book page 95. We have exercise number five. Work with a partner and think about solutions to the problem of pollution in your town area. Use the ideas in the books and your own ideas. Okay, let's study the ideas in the books together. One, recycle more, less rubbish. Two, Walk to school, less air pollution. Turn off the lights, save energy. Factories use filters not to pollute the atmosphere. Pick up rubbish, help keep the environment clean. Okay, if we look at the two boys below, we notice that the first boy says, if we recycle more, there will be less rubbish. So we can use the first one with F close. If we recycle more and the result, there will be less rubbish. Okay, good. Now let's do more examples together. If we look at number two, point number two, walk to school, less air pollution. The sentence would be like, if we want to make a conditional close, if we walk to school, 
What will happen? There will be less air pollution. Excellent. Look at number three. Turn off the lights. Yes, what will happen if we turn off the lights? If we turn off the lights, we will save energy. Excellent. One more. If factories use filters, yes, there won't be, there won't pollute the atmosphere. Excellent. Good. Now, let's move together to workbook. Here in workbook, page 82, read and complete the present simple and the future will. Okay, remember, dear students, if close is simple present or present simple. And the main clause is future will. And the negative form of will is want. Okay. For example, number one, if Kareem get up early, he not be late for school. The simple present here, yes, gets up. Excellent. Why? Because Kareem is third person singular. Yes, the subject is singular. So the verb should be with S if Kareem gets up early. The main clause, he, not be. We want the negative form of well. And the negative form of well is want be. Amazing. Remember these students, for example, here in number one, sentence number one, we notice that we have not in the many clause. So it means that we should use want. Okay. Number two, you be healthier if you exercise more. So, is this the F close? Excellent. It starts with the main close. It's not the F close because in the beginning we have the subject direct, not F. So, yes, we should use the simple future. Well, will be. Excellent. You will be. This is the result. We started with the main clause. You will be healthier if you and the F clause should be simple present. And after you, the verb is infinitive if you exercise more. Okay, let's move to number three. Number three starts with excellent F clause because F is at the beginning. So if we not keep, okay, in the F close, we should use simple present. Good. Notice here before the verb, we have not, it's negative. So we should use negative form of simple present. And the negative form of simple present with we, excellent, don't, and the infinitive form of the verb. So if we don't keep the C clean, the result, the main clause, C animals not survive. Also here in the main clause we have not before the verb, so it's negative. Excellent. Negative form of will. So, it should be like, won't survive. Let's read the sentence together. If we don't keep the sea clean, what will happen? Sea animals won't survive. Yes, they will die. And number four, Fatima. Blank become better students. Excellent. Here, number four starts with main close or F close. Excellent. Main close. Because it started with a subject. Yes, Fatima. Fatima, we should use here after Fatima. Yes, the simple future will. Fatima will become. Good, because this is the main close. 
and the if close should be simple present. Here we have the third person singular pronoun she, and after she, the verb should be followed with s or es. Excellent. If she studies, so the whole sentence together. Fatima will become a better student if she studies more. Good. The last sentence, number five, if. So, sentence number five starts with if close. Excellent. And if close should be yes in simple present. If it rain tomorrow. So, after it, this is third person singular. Yes, the verb should be with as if it rains tomorrow. The main clause, I not go to the park. The main clause here should be in the negative form of well. Why? Because before the verb, we have not. So, yes, excellent. I won't go. Excellent. You did a great job today, dear students. I want you to pause the video and write down your answers in your workbook, okay? You did a great job. Thank you. So don't forget, dear students, to write all the answers in your workbook. And thank you for today. See you next time.